So, Paul, um, quite a fascinating uh, 90 minutes of football. I don't think I've seen a, as open a, a game here in a long, long time. What was your view of it? I actually thought that before the game. I thought two very good footballing teams. In Inverness have done fantastically well over the last four or five years in the, in the Championship. They've got some great players, play very similar system to ourselves. So I thought it would be a, a very open game, a good, attractive game. And uh, it certainly turned out that way. Was it a wee bit of a chance for the teams to kind of have a wee bit of a sparring match and have a bit of a look at each other? A wee bit, as I say, we've not played, well, we played Inverness last year and uh, in the, the cup last year, but I think you know there's been a, a big change in the, the Rover since then, and I, I was absolutely delighted with our first half performance. I thought we were by far the better team in the first half. The the movement was great from the players. The passing was really good, and uh, uh, just overall first half performance excellent. And as I say, second half all credit to Inverness. They came out and pressed us uh, a wee bit further up the park, and showed the quality they had. And I, I felt for 20-25 minutes of the second half they're well on top got themselves ahead in the game but I thought we bounced back well the last 10 minutes had a couple of chances before we managed to nick the, the third goal What were the key moments of the game in terms of the, the goals for Wraith Rovers and of course uh, the penalty miss early on? Yeah, as, as I say, just, I'm just repeating myself I thought the first half we, we carried on from uh, Saturday the movement of the ball was fantastic we played with real great pace and energy about the team uh, and, and kept the standards up and as I say just delighted with the performance of the first half and maybe have to learn a wee bit in the second half a wee bit better game management when we when Inverness take control we maybe have to manage the game just a wee bit better but it's something we'll learn from but you know we don't want to stop the style of football we're playing just now and you know I think it's uh, the fans must be loving it. Not a clean sheet uh, in terms of defensive performance but a uh, um an assist for Nando and then a, a quite incredible save by um, Robbie late on to, to actually take it to penalties. Yeah, Robbie, fantastic. I think it was a wee double save there. Uh, fantastic uh, save. We know, know that Robbie's a wee bit like uh, David McGurn on that one. He's you know big hand and, and really sharp to make the save. But likewise, I think uh, Ridgers made a couple of good saves you know, the last five minutes in the game as well. So I think if uh, you know you were a neutral watching that game, you would have thought it was an excellent, uh, an excellent game. Air to end stuff, which is, as a touched on earlier on I thought the game would would be like that Penalty shootout at the end I don't think I've seen a penalty victory uh, celebrated any less across world <laughs> football but uh, we were for Dan Armstrong he, he steps up when it would have been easier not to Yeah no, he, he was first when I went to ask who was wanting to take the penalties Dan was first to put his name forward um, I think he changed his mind on, on, the, you know, on his first penalty in the, in the 90 minutes I think on his run up he had a wee stagger and, and changed what he was going to do with it uh, Ridger is a, Ridgers is a big imposing man but uh, in the penalty shoot I, th I thought the boys did great We'll thank you for your uh, contribution tonight and we'll catch up for you midweek maybe Thursday Paul That's great David thanks again